Hello there. Cycle cart people. This is Andrew again. I'm back in the uh, in the shop looking at the vulture and I'm preparing to go to upstate New York for another little meet and I've got the vulture uh, stripped down again so I thought that I would make an update video on the mechanicals of the vulture and how it's all going. Um, let me say, I guess to begin with, that I've learned many, many things from the vulture. And among them are that I probably would not repeat some of the stuff I did, uh, some of the decisions I made in building, although they were made out of sort of practicality and, and lack of money, I probably wouldn't do it again. Um, among them, I think, is making mechanical parts from scratch out of unusual materials. I probably wouldn't repeat that. Uh, for instance, this whole steering rack hasn't been terrible, to be honest, but it's not ideal. And it was a neat idea that I tried to execute and did a fairly good job with, I think. But I think next time we're going to have uh, used parts, but parts, actual parts that are used for this purpose. Similar idea with my front axle. It's fine. It's okay. Uh, I haven't had too, too many headaches with it, but, you know, it's been unusual and a bit difficult. Um, particularly at the ends where you're using uh, kind of materials not intended for this sort of uh, application. So, I don't know. Pretty good. But maybe next time, and there will be a next time, maybe next time not entirely ideal. Uh, one thing that I can say that, uh, that I've improved upon a little bit is, first of all, I guess we'll go from the front. I put this little pad under the seat. And I have to say, this whole idea of um, allowing me to slouch down a little bit in the seat has improved not only the look of the cart when I'm in it. I don't look like, you know, like a... Like, it doesn't look like a Shriner's car. I kind of look like I'm in it instead of, like, hovering above it, which is nice. And I've made this, like, slouch um, pad to sort of fill up the space uh in my lower back makes it easier to sit in and the whole thing is nicer to sit in and it feels good and i can get low in it and it feels pretty nice i have to say so that was a good improvement uh let's get down here i've created this uh brake caliper with the help of dave wells because i don't weld he showed me how to weld some of this i welded myself some of this he did uh, i used his shop to um I used his shop to fab it all up, and I've just realized that uh, apparently I only have one bolt holding it on, uh, which I kind of thought I had more than that. <laughs> which is interesting, isn't it? Like, I kind of thought I had more bolts than that holding my brakes together, but apparently I don't. So that's going to have to get remedied right after I turn the camera off here. So I guess the big... Uh, new uh, item is the rear uh, the rear suspension redesign and what i've done here it's kind of hard to see this when it's on but the new rear suspension is basically an l shape which is this is the top of the l and down here that uh, this platform let's say here that's the bottom of the l okay and that's uh, also reinforced by these two tubes so it makes a big l shape and you can see on the vertical part of the L here, these bearings attach to the rear axle. So when the rear axle moves up, let's see if I can get my hand in here. When the rear axle moves up and down, this L shape pivots like this back. So the engine is kind of half sprung and half unsprung because down here at the back, this rubber mount is what the engine sits on and that's attached to the frame so basically it's kind of like somebody doing push-ups the front are two pivot points that hold on to the axle and the back is a pivot point on the frame so the engine is kind of half sprung half unsprung excuse me half unsprung weight and as you might imagine looking at it i've had to add a bunch of things to stiffen it for instance this l shape here but it works 
and it works, I have to say, quite reliably. I have not had a loose bolt or a breakdown on the L shape. I did have some loosening of these two bolts, which um, hold the torque converter apart from the uh, axle. So it's a stiffening portion that makes sure that when the engine uh, wants to pull, the torque converter does not go that way, it stays put. Other than that though, it's been quite reliable and quite good. Uh, and it works, which is nice. So, no complaints here, really, I have to say. And I think that's about it. I did replace this rear mount for the clamshell. Can you believe it or not, when I closed the clamshell, a major problem used to be that when I closed the clamshell like that, let me zoom out a little bit here. When I closed the clamshell, this edge of the clamshell used to hit the uh, support frame because it used to be under here, but I've sort of rebent it because I'm an electrician. I've used electrical tubing and a uh, and a bender. I've rebent it so now the tail is a little more straight. I used to have some trouble. It used to want to want to wander that way. It was very difficult to move over because it was touching. The clamshell was touching the frame down there. That's not a problem anymore. Now it sort of lines up nicely. And on top of it, I have put in... Let me move this out of the way. I have put in an extra top strap. Instead of just that one and that one, I've got this one too. And it closes up and it does tend to... I'm doing this with one hand because I'm filming with the other. Obviously, you can see my fingers in the picture. Anyway, this does click in, believe it or not. Um, there we go, single-handed. And now the clamshell is less apt to move back and forth. Still moves a little bit, but it's plenty good. It's nice and high now. The backrest folds right in there nicely. You know, minor improvements. So anyway, that's the Vulture in its current state. We will see you out there in cycle cart land. And check back here to this channel for updates, including a new build that's coming in the fall and a bunch of new videos on uh, activities having to do with the summer of 2024. Check you later, cycle cartists.